Hello all, Shoestring here. Today I'm going to show you another budget inverter that I like. This one is a Vivor. As you can see, it's a 12 volt and 110 to 120 volt. And it's 2,500 watts. So we're going to open it and see what's in the box. We have some wires here, cables that came with it. I'm not sure what size, but we'll check that out and see. And of course the inverter itself in here probably one of the uh, remotes these things come with yes power inverter remote all right so we'll just set that to the side as well let's go ahead and pull it out cable goes to the remote all right so let's take a look what we have it's a Packaged quite well. It's somewhat heavy, okay, which is good. We want things that appear to be well made. We've got some one, two, three, eight, eight fuses. And the man, oh, and a piece of plastic. I'm sure it goes to something. And the manual right there. It is a pure sine wave. Oh. Says it is anyway. See, it says pure sine wave. It's got the pure sine wave symbol. And, um, quick look at the manual real fast. And there we go. All right, so that's what came with it. The inverter itself, eight fuses, cables, a remote. And let's see what we have here. It's uh, very clean and shiny. We like that. V Vivor, pure sine wave, 2,500 watt continuous power. Okay. It's got, let's see, check this side first. Two fans. These protection for the, uh, well, that's going to be fun to get off. But we will keep at it till we get it off. Even I have to find the appropriate tool to do it. Normally these just come off with your hand. appropriate tool to do it. All right, so we have the positive terminal, negative terminal, and they have bolts and all the hardware that goes with it. These are nice to have because they'll make sure nothing touches it when they're connected and will have no sparks. So besides that, we have two exhaust fans, and on the other side, we have our LED panel, three electrical inputs. The connection looks like the old phone connection for our, our remote on and off switch, and a USB, and two lights probably for telling us if it's on, indicating if it's on or off. So other than that, let's see what's on the back. It says 2,500, 12 volt. All right. And it says it has a 5,000 surge. Of course, we're going to be testing all that out now that you've seen it. And it was packaged quite well, actually. It's sturdy. I don't like inverters that are small and and feel very light. I like them that feel well constructed, and this one does. Next, we're going to be setting up some testing for it, and we'll see how well it does. I have my new 2,500 watt inverter pure sine wave hooked up. Okay, I hooked it up to this 12 volt, 200 amp power. Lipis battery. It's a really good battery. I like how, how it operates. So we're going to use it for our little 
experiment here to see how well this inverter, VVAR inverter, actually works. 2500, pure sine wave. Let's see if it does. Oh, also, I hooked up the remote. Okay, just plugged it into the front right there, and that's what we're going to use to plug it in. Okay, uh, so I have that plugged in, ready to go. I also have a small Frigidaire 5000 BTU air conditioner, but you know, I have to admit, it doesn't use a lot of watts, but air conditioners, people like to, to, to have them. So we're going to practice with that. We have my daughter's hair dryer, which always takes lots of watts, and a fan, just a shop fan, fairly dirty, but it gets lots of use. And that's what we're going to use all together to see how many watts this thing will actually do. All right, I put the air conditioner on. It's at 7, max cool, and also max cool mode down here. As you can see the numbers, I hope you can see them, 419 watts. Okay, 419, oh, 420. But you know, these things will, it will change as the compressor goes off and on. Now we're going to put on our fan right here. It's also going straight to high. You should see it's on high. Got the fan on. Once again, remind you, it's on the max cool and it's on high cool. The fan over here, the shop fan is on high. And at the moment, that is 498 watts. And that's because it's now 500. The air conditioner will change the watts quite a bit. Now we're going to use the hair dryer. Hair dryer is right here. Let's put it on low first, see what we get. We're going to have to get some more watts, so we're not going to get close to the 2,500. So on low, we're at 1537, 1536. Now I'm going to put it on high. 22, 21. So we are nearing the maximum of what this can do, and it's doing it with no problem. Right there is a 22, 2199. So this will reach up to the 22. It's supposed to go 25. I'm sure it will now. I don't really want, I don't really want to overload it. So we're going to go ahead and say this was an extremely successful test. This is pure sine wave. And as you can see, it ran everything we asked it to. We ran it right up to the limit without going over. And we don't want to do that. So overall, this uh, this Viver 2500 watt pure sine wave did an excellent job. And it's also a budget item. These things are extremely inexpensive for what they do. Want to remind folks that don't watch the channel, I have a 5,000 watt I bought almost over a year ago, and it's running my well pumps and doing an excellent job. Some people ask how long the inverter will run these devices. Well, you really don't know unless you know how many watts you're being run and the capability of your battery, right? This is not what can the inverter run for how long. It's how much capacity you have in the battery. So the inverter here, this one, is a budget. It will do its job. I'll put a link down so you can see the price if you're interested in something like this. Prices, remember, fluctuate. So I'll put the link down there and you can see that. So yes, this passed the test. It passed all my lab tests and it passed this real world test. And I'm very pleased with it. Like I am with the other one like this that I have. Okay, so any questions put it down in the comments please like and subscribe if you like this channel so if you know someone who needs a pure sine wave and remember pure sine wave is for what medical equipment sensitive electronics your laptops your drones computers that type of thing so share it and like it and please like and subscribe to this channel and shoestring out